Today I'm going to be telling you about the steps that I took to come up with my original character Hops, and I'm hoping that this will help anyone who's wondering how to come up with a more detailed character in the future. So let's get into this. So step one in this process is pretty simple, it's just the idea. Uh, my idea was I wanted to create a frog character. I thought frog characters like Froppy from My Hero Academia are pretty cool, so I wanted to make my own. That brings me right into step two, which is inspiration and brainstorming, and this is going to be one of the most detailed parts of the whole process. So the first thing I did was I looked at Froppy's suit, I took in all the things that I liked about it, and then I looked up dozens and dozens and dozens of frogs. I searched so many species of frogs until I finally landed on one that I like. It's called the Flying Frog and I think it's sick because it can make its hands and feet turn into parachutes so that it can glide across the air as it jumps and I just had to add that into my character. Next, I made sure that I had plenty of backup frogs just in case this one didn't end up working out so that I had something to fall back on if I changed my mind. This brings us to step three, which is the concept art and planning part of the process where you finally get to put all your ideas that you built up from looking at all those pictures down on paper. I took what I learned from Frog Anatomy and the Flying Frog to draw human body parts stretching and parachuting like I saw them do, and then I did the other powers and the suit designs. So I printed out a copy of the suit that I liked, and then I colored it. As for coloring the mask and hair, the mask really wasn't that complicated. I already knew what colors I wanted for it beforehand, so I didn't even bother, but I did print out a copy of the hair and I colored that myself and have a front and back design just to make sure I know what it looks like from all sides. Once I was done with all of that, I was able to go to step four, which was finalizing the design. So I drew out an entire finished version of the character. After the character was done, I gave her a hero name, which is Hops, and a real person name, which is Kairu, which is Japanese for frog, and Asuya, which is just a slightly changed up version of Froppy's name. All around her, I also wrote powers and general information, and I marked them accordingly so that everything was clear and concise. Then came step five, enjoying your finished work. If you like seeing how I came up with this character, I encourage you to check out my other work and definitely tag me on your posts if you want me to see any of your original characters. I'll definitely interact. Thanks, guys.